Yes, we can see your screen. Thank you very much, Aisha, for such a such a nice uh, introduction. Uh, do you hear me clearly? Yes, we can hear you, hear you clearly. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks for the introduction. Uh, today I will talk uh, about quantum Cheshire cat. Uh, this cat uh, might be this new for the audience. Uh, probably you know about the uh, Schrodinger cat. No, I am talking about the Cheshire cat. This is another cat. You should not think that physicists are not talking about the cats. We are also talking about the dogs and pigeons also. <laughs> Today I'm talking about Cheshire cat. Uh, what is a Cheshire cat? Uh, this is the outline of uh, my presentation today. First, I will talk about quantum Cheshire cat. Uh, then I will talk two-state vector form formalism and weak measurement and weak values. This is the physics behind this uh, Cheshire cat. Then I will talk about photonic Cheshire cat, and then atomic Cheshire cat, and lastly our two papers on uh, Cheshire cat, that is entanglement and the paradox of untying the uh, defining features from the Cheshire cat and quantum Cheshire cat. Uh, we give a different definition from the uh, from the uh, who introduced it, that, that is yes, Yaki Racha Arnov introduced this Cheshire cat. Uh, we, we give the different definition, different explanation of this Cheshire cat. What is a Cheshire cat? Uh, this, the, the concept of this Cheshire cat is taken from uh, a novel of uh, Louis Carroll way back in 1865, uh, Alice, Alice Adventures in the Wonderland. Uh, what he says that, uh, uh, at, sorry, I have not looked see the screen clearly. Okay, uh, what is this Cheshire cat? Uh, all right, said the cat, and at this time it vanished quite slowly, beginning with the end of the tail and ending with a grin, which remained some time. Uh, it's, uh, but the Alice says that uh, the cat vanishes from the tail and it ends with the uh, head and then at the end. Alice says surprisingly that I have often seen the cat with the grin. I have seen cat without the grin, but a grin without the cat is, uh, it is the first time I've seen the grin without the cat. So the, the cat and the grin, these are two different uh, uh, observables. Uh, this is uh, this is the basic phenomena in Cheshire cat. The Cheshire cat and the grin are the two, two different things in it. Right. Uh, what is Cheshire cat? In quantum mechanics, current of Cheshire cat is a phenomena in which cat is at one place and its grin is another place. For example, if we talk about photons uh, and we're talking about the uh, Maxander interferometer, in the Maxander interferometer, the photon is traveling in one path while the photon's property is polarization. Polarization is following other path. This is a photonic Cheshire cat. Uh, it looks very strange that photon in one path and it's uh, polarization in another path. So let me explain this. Uh, bef before explaining this uh, phenomena, how this uh, uh, photons can be separated from the polarization, uh, we use... Uh, Professor Manzoor, um, could you please shift the position of your mic a bit because it's a bit noisy here. Uh, is it okay? Yes, it's much better. Thank you. Right. For, to explain this Cheshire cat, we use uh, the two-state vector formalism. Two-state vector and weak measurement. I'll briefly explain here what, are, what is two-state vector and what are weak measurement. Uh, two-state vector uh, is a phenomena by which we explain 
the evolution of this quantum system. Uh, it, uh, earlier we we used that we have we have a psi t that is a state vector is defined. State vector is defined uh, with respect to state preparation and its measurement, its initial preparation, and this initial state vector evolves with this unitary operator. With this unitary operator, it, uh, it evolves and we get the psi of t uh, with respect to some time. Quantum state is defined by the preparation and measurement of this state vector. At two state in, in two state vector, this was this is the normal. This is the normal case how state vector evolve. But in uh, two state vector formalism, we consider two states: the initial state and the final state. Uh, we call it as pre-selected and post-selected states. Pre-selected states evolve from past to future. And post-selected states uh, evolve from future to past, and we make a measurement in between, in between these two uh, pre-selected and post-selected states. This psi, this psi is the pre-selected. This psi move from past to future. It means it is a pre-selected state, and this phi is moving from uh, future to future to present. So it is post-selected state. And when we want to make a measurement in between pre-selected state and the post-selected state, uh, this uh, P phi is a post-selected probability of post-selected and P psi is a probability of pre-selected. And we make a measurement in, in between these two. Let's see the observables. We want to make a measurement on this uh, observable C. Then this is the equation. This is the formula given by Harnoff, uh, Bergman, and Lobers. This given this formula. By this formula, we make a measurement on C, which is in between post-selected and pre-selected state. And, uh, there is another uh, measurement that is weak measurement. For weak measurement, we uh, we put a, uh, uh, we put our meter where we want to make some measurement. Uh, this meter is not affected by this measurement. Meir, uh, this meter gets some information. Uh, this measurement and uh, this meter does not disturb the system. So weak value, if you want to make a weak value, so this is the expression. This is the expression. We get this, uh, the measurement of weak value. A strong measurement uh, when our meter is uh, connected, when we take a measure, uh, we have a meter, we have a system. There are two, two things, system and measurement. When measurement, uh, in the strong measurement, meter get entangled with the system. So this is, if you say this, this is the system state and this is the measurement state. When we take a measurement, a strong measurement, meter gets entangled with the system. While in weak measurement, uh, weak measurement is a, uh, in weak measurement, our system does not get entangled. Our system gets some information of the system. And uh, it's, uh, this, in this information, uh, this let's say this is the this is our meter, and this is the state system state. This meter gets some deflection, but very slight deflection, and this standard deviation of this deflection is very large uh, compared to the value itself. Uh, this equation shows that the system meter detection is described here in this way: system and meter are uh, are get uh, some interaction. And after this interaction, system remains in their states, while the meter gets some slight, slight deflection here in it. So the system, uh, the meter gets some deflection here. Uh, for example, in a spin system, we have uh, we have a system in alpha zero and beta one, and this is a meter. Uh, this is the meter. When, when take this measurement, meter gets some deflection in it, and this measurement of this deflection gives some weak measurement. For example, if we want to take a measurement on this weak uh, weak value, let's say x0 is the weak value, then our, our meter, this meter shows that uh, we have some deflection, some slight deflection in the meter state, but the, uh, but the system states remain in their state. If the variance of this meter distribution is very big with respect to uh, it is big, then it's been uh, selected a spin operator, then uh, weak measurement is uh, fine enough. We get weak measurement here. 
Single weak measurement does not give any meaningful value. We get repeated measurement. Uh, we have n samples of system and we put this uh, meter which is slight deflecting. Then uh, measurement on this weak measurement on the n samples give the weak value. <coughs> this uh, the phenomenon of this Cheshire cat, it was first uh, given by Arnov and uh, Rolich uh, in a book, Quantum Paradoxes, Quantum Theory for the Perplexed. It was uh, published in 2005. But the actual paper, this was the concept was given in the book. The paper they have uh, in 2013, they give a full detail of this uh, uh, Quantum Cheshire cat. Uh, here, uh, it, this paper was published in uh, New Journal of Physics in 2013. Here in this uh, figure, this Cheshire cat is explained over here. Uh, we have we have a Maxander interferometer. This is Maxander interferometer. A photon is incident here from. Uh, this beam splitter photon is incident uh, with the if beam splitter is 50 50 probability then uh, it is a half rotated photon will follow the left path and with the 50 percent probability photon will follow the right path and uh, again the photons combine at uh, beam splitter 2 and we select we put some phase shifter and half wave plate uh, in such a way that this only this, this detector d1 clicks only so this is a post selection. In pre-selection, photon is incident on the beam splitter, and post selection is this detector is detected. With this post selection, it is concluded that photon is following this path, and its polarization polarization of the photon is following the other path. When we take this is the magnetic inter interferometer. If this is the pre-selected. Is, this is the post-selected state. Pre-selected state is this one. Photon is entering in the Maxander interferometer. It is either following left path or it is following the right path with horizontal polarization. And we make some uh, engineering so that our detection shows that post-selected state is, uh, for if photon is in left path, then it is horizontal polarization. If photon is in right path, then it is vertical polarization. And we take some weak measurement uh, if you want to make a measurement on the photon position, uh, then this weak measurement of the photon position on the left path, L is for left path, we find that it is unit probability. Photon is always following the left path. And we make a weak measurement on the right path, then we find that it is zero probability. So photon following left path with a unit probability, and photon is not following the uh, right path. If we take a measurement on the polarization, in the polarization basis, we notice that photon's polarization in the left path is zero probability, and photon polarization in the right path it is one. So it clearly shows that photon is following left path where there is no polarization in the right path, and the photon is following right path. Uh, there is no probability of photon in the right path, and there is a polarization unit unit probability of polarization. It shows that photon is disembodied photons uh, property that the photons property that is uh, polarization this polarization is separated from the photon itself photon is following one path while polarization is following other path uh, we did same uh, uh, photonic experiment of arno on the uh, atomic states uh, at, atomic Cheshire cat uh, we see that in the atomic Cheshire cat this atom momentum gets uh, separated from the atomic energy itself, internal energy. So following the same things on the photons, we proved that uh, this momentum is get separated. Uh, this paper was published in JFSB in uh, 2019. We know that uh, when photon, uh, when an atom uh, enters into a beam splitter, atomic beam splitter, it gets it is separated in two paths, in the upper path and lower path in the momentum states. And these are combined again uh, through mirrors and in this beam switcher, if we make, make some post selection, uh, here it is the pre-selected state, photon uh, is uh, uh, not, not photon but the atom. The atom uh, gets in superposition state, superposition states of upper path and lower path. Uh, these are the uh, 
uh, superposition states and they are following this mirrors and from these mirrors they again combine here if you if you take this post selected state this is the post selected state uh, if you use this post selected and pre selected state and uh, we follow the two state measurement and weak measurement uh, we uh, we get this uh, result in the weak measurement uh, if we make a measurement on the on the momentum states we see that momentum is following photons momentum is following the upper path with the unit probability while in the down probability there is no momentum states if when we look at the energy of this photon uh, energy of these atoms we see that photon is uh, atom is following upper path and there is no internal energy of the atoms in the in the upper path while for, uh, while the atom is following uh, the photon uh, atoms momentum there is no atoms momentum in the lower path but atomic energy internal energy in the lower path so this these results are uh, very much similar to the arnov's photon photonic uh, cheshire cat here we see that momentum is get separated from the internal energy of the atoms uh, when we compare these two we get the same results uh, this this is the arnov paper photons photon get separated from the polarization here atomic momentum gets separated from the internal energy uh, they say that uh, these two properties atom is separated from the uh, from the internal energy it looks very strange how atoms uh, how atom energy can be separated or, or the photons polarization can be separated uh, we get a different uh, uh, interpretation arnov says that photon uh, photons polarization get separated from the photon we say no this is this is not the true uh, explanation actually uh, one property that is polarization property uh, becomes dormant uh, respect to others one uh, is dor one becomes dormant one becomes uh, uh, available so our, our explanation uh, gives this one and we explained this uh, uh, this explanation in a, in a other paper published in phase of a here uh, this paper was published in physical review a here we, instead of using single photon we used two photons we uh, we implied the uh, entanglement uh, property here we used two photons one photon from the upper cavity and the another photon from the upper uh, and lower cavity these photons are deflected if this is uh, beam spectra 50% beam spectra these photon uh, these atoms get deflected and we get a detection over here one of the atom is get deflected out of these two atom there is only one atom that is following this path upper path or lower path and these atoms again combine together together either atom is either in the upper path or in the lower path and we get some detection and using this laser we prepared a system in the uh, post selected state uh, in the lower i i have written the pre selected state and the post selected states with these uh, two pre selected and post selected state post selected states on the right side and pre selected state on the left side and when we use this uh, pre selected and post selected state and we make a weak measurement we find that uh, atoms momentum is found in the upper path and the atoms momentum in the lower path is zero so again the same kind of result but here we have two atoms not one atom atom 1 is present in the upper path atom atom 2 is not present in the lower path but here we see that uh, when we take a measurement on the polarization of the on these two atoms we get the uh, internal energy when we use the internal energy we do, we do not find the internal energy of these two atoms in the upper path while we find uh, we find that atom is internal energy of this atom is found in the lower path from this uh, we see that separation of certain specific feature from quantum entity cannot be taken granted as the sole reason uh, rather our analysis shows that the entanglement interferometric scenario suggested an alternative point of view where inaccessible inaccessibility of the defining feature of quantum system appears to be more plausible reason Now here we say that energy is available in the path but it is inaccessible rather we say that energy and uh, atoms are get separated 
one property is excessive, accessible and other property is not accessible. Uh, we, we don't see that these are get separated, but the excess is uh, different uh, due to interference. Uh, after doing this uh, on the atoms, we did uh, on the photons also, and it published on uh, Joseph B. Here we use uh, same interferometric uh, system as uh, Arnov, but here we prepared uh, these photons in the superposition state, uh, in the entangled state. In our uh, uh, explanation, we showed, we showed that uh, we propose experimentally testable and physically more realistic and logically plausible interpretation. Our inter interpretation is that uh, the photons polarization do not get separated from the photon itself, but one property get dormant other with respect to other. Uh, just like this atoms, we prepared photons. We take two photons. These two photons passes from these uh, two uh, two beam splitters, and here we detect this. So in this path or in this path, there is only one photon. Photon is either in this path or in this path. Here, the photons combine together. And uh, when we take a weak measurement, we get the same result. Uh, photon in the left path, probability zero. Photon in the right path, probability one. While polarization, we take a measurement, polarization uh, unit one. And polarization uh, on the B path, it is zero. It shows, clearly shows that uh, uh, so when you take a B part, photon, uh, here we take a photon A. And photon A, there is no photon A. But here we say that uh, photon A is not present. Photon A is not there in the interferometer, but its polarization is there. So for polarization without a photon is not possible. Photon is not accessible here, but its polarization is accessible. Uh, with this, uh, I think uh, uh, I thank the co-authors. Uh, I presented three papers here. One is atomic tissue gate, one is uh, entangled atomic tissue gate, and another is uh, third one is the photonic entangled tissue gate. And these uh, these three papers, these are the co-authors. With this, I thank. Many thanks, Professor Manzur Ekam, for such a nice talk. And we are really introduced to what Kesher cat is. Um, Kesher cat, so, and. Um, we have some questions from the participants. One is that that can you kindly elaborate on the system on the system meter and its significance? System meter uh, system meter is a bit different from the actual meter. Our our actual meter and in the strong measurement, this meter. Uh, this this meter when we take a measurement our system gets collapsed but here we have <coughs> system is different uh, it get it is very 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 weak connected with the system uh, for example uh, let's say our uh, atom is passing and our meter is uh, a bit different uh, is, is placed uh, at some distance so it gets infected it gets some information, our, our meter gets some information of the passage of the uh, atoms, but the meter does not collapse the systems. So meter is different from the actual measurement. Thank you very much. Um, uh, have you practically observed or implemented this um, Max and interferometer? If yes, can, can you name components used, bulk optics or something else? Oh, it is it is simple optics, beam splitters, simple beam splitter, phase uh, phase shifter, half wave plates. These are the optics used in the uh, inter interferometer. Normal yeah. optics. Good. At at Nilop, your your group is doing some experiments as well, right? On these uh, experiments on this uh, Cheshire cat. No, we are not doing these experiments, but other on atomic inter interference, we are doing some experiments. Um, and then uh, another question that these results can also be explained by self-interference of photons. So it may be a question of interpretation. In this case, there is no paradox. Could you comment on that? Yeah, this is uh, this is only the interpretation. This is the difference uh, of interpretation. Self-interference uh, means uh, uh, no. When we have two paths, then it, it is interference between two paths. It is not a self-interference. 
there are different interpretation of this uh, photons and this polarization. Okay, so we have still a couple of minutes if somebody wants to ask a question. So if not, then uh, let's thank Professor Manzuri Kam again for such a wonderful talk. And uh, we hope that we'll be meeting each other and with these participants in some other, at some other platform um, at your end or at our end later in the years to come. Thank you, Aisha, for Thank providing you the opportunity to speak.